Authorities in Lamu are happy that the prevailing peace and tranquility in the area will serve as a catalyst for greater development. Here, locals are beginning to harbor valid dreams again. But to reclaim its former glory, the government wants sanctions imposed on the area over insecurity lifted. Due to the good work we have done in terms of security, uh, we would urge again for a review by our development partners uh, they are prifting of travel advisories so that our uh, people are able to visit and sample our good ditches and various tourist attractions that we have to offer as Lamu County. Lamu County Commissioner Joseph Kanyeri says the move will revitalize tourism, which is the backbone of Lamu County. While the operation may have recorded tremendous success, the authorities here are refusing to take anything for chance, saying the operation is here to stay. This operation was never meant to take 90 days. The operation uh, was just in phases. Eh? The operation, the first phase was just 90 days. And now we are in the second phase. And I can assure you, you are going to be there for many phases. Eh? We are here for the long term. Eh? And the terrorists should realize that you are not going to live here very soon, yeah. Operation Linda Boni, director of operations James Oleserian, says the government is bridging gaps which existed previously and which might have hated attacks. We have established nine police stations yeah, in the operation zone. Uh, and these, uh, all these new police stations have sufficient number of officers to be able to protect the public and also protect themselves. And we have also reinforced another three police stations yeah, within the area. The, those stations had fewer officers, but you have added more officers uh, to those stations such that they are able to operate effectively. We have also established uh, KDF CAMS, uh, K Kenya Forest Service, the KWS, that comes within the operation zone. And all these security officers are working as a team to ensure that uh, we protect the public. That is not enough as sophisticated security equipment are for the first time being deployed in the area to guard against attacks. As part of the initiative to build cohesion in the area, the government wants the locals who might have enlisted in terrorist ranks to take full advantage of the amnesty window given by the government. All we are urging members of the community is to share with the government officers on the ground any information they may have on youths that may have left for Somalia between 2013, 2014, 2015 and are coming back so that we can work out on programs to reintegrate them into the society. It is a message parents and religious leaders in this region are trumpeting. Pengine kama kuna ya mefikiria kujiunga, arodi, lakini naona afadhali uweko. Kama upo ya ni uendele kuwepo, kwa sabu itaokoa pijana wengi. Pengine mtu anaza kuwa liingizwa bila kujua. Nikuwa siku penda kwa ketengini. Uislamu wa uambishi ugaidi kabisa. Sasa na waomba wa vijana wenzangu, wale amba ukwa mbalabda, walipata hama sakali kama hizo, tafadhalini wajitahidi sana, kujitoa, wajitahidi sana, kujinyofua katika hali kama hiyo. Na sahitu mito yetu ni, mtu yote kama hiko mugaidi, arudi. Mzazi yake tunambia kama unamjua mtoto yako, piga habari ili arudi. But the government is resolute in its mission, as it promises to exterminate all terror groups off the face of Kenya. We are going to respond in any new way they are going to try to appear. Eh? And we are flexible, we are thinking outside the box to ensure that uh, uh, in any other way they are going to appear, we are going to, we are going to get them. The threat level, according to security agencies leading Operation Linda Boni, has tremendously been reduced. They, however, warn that this operation is not going to end anytime soon until the enemy within has been kept at bay. To guard against radicalization, a myriad of projects are underway. Previously, when we visited this region last year, engineers were busy erecting telephone infrastructure to address communication challenges facing the area. Today, telephone masts in Pandanguo, Bodei, and Mangai have indeed been completed and residents are able to interconnect seamlessly. In the past, uh, most of the operations zone didn't have telephone network 
and those three places now, these are very strategic places for us. And those uh, telephone, uh, telephone masks are now operating. The public are able to get, uh, uh, able to communicate with security officers. They are also able to communicate on their own. And this has made it easier for them to communicate within themselves and also with the, with the security officers. Yeah. Roads leading in and out of the area have been expanded. Power lines are being rolled out for upcoming industries, even as efforts to penetrate electricity around the area are accelerated. But it also appears that the calm in the area is beginning to trigger an influx of people as individuals are flocking the area in search of land. There has been an attitude that uh, by many Kenyans that there is a lot of free land in Lamu. And a lot of them from all parts of the country are coming to Lamu. Uh, looking for land called Wetemeru, eh? Ujikati. Eh? So if you are going to be cheated to buy uh, cheap land here, uh, you have to be very careful because if it's too good, then it, uh, they, it, there must be a problem with it. So we are appealing to Kenyans not to come to Lamu because there's no free land here. Uh, every land here belongs to individuals, either groups or individuals or communities. The present image of Lamu is that of an area that has overcome its rough patch, rearing to scale new heights, thanks to the dedication of this selfless security personnel. Eric Begon reporting for Channel One.